Let's get a quick take on GOP State Representative John Kaiser leaving his post to join the race to unseat U.S. Senator Michael Bennett. Patty Calhoun from Westward, uh, this is a whole new face on the scene. He's 34 years old. He's a veteran of the, both of Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, do you think he'll have what it takes to get the nomination out of a very crowded GOP field? Well, that's going to be the tough thing. Right now, the clown car that brought in the Republican presidential candidates can come to Colorado and load up with all these Senate candidates. It's an incredible group. You know, Ryan Frazier's just announcing, Robert Blaha. I might have mispronounced that, Blaha. Kaiser's the latest young, different profile, but it's going to just depend on how the party splinters. And Republican Party is definitely splintering these days. David Copel from the Independence Institute and DU Law School. You know, Dick Wadham said that it's a, a big year in the party for anti-establishment. Is this the kind of voice that can do well in that kind of a year? Conceivably, and that's an advantage of Colorado's caucus process, where all of the, the more than half dozen uh, Republican standard candidates will have opportunities to meet uh, up close with lots of well-informed, active Republicans. And out of that group, some, some will emerge. It's, everybody's going to have to be stepping up to a higher level in a bigger league. And, and some will, uh, I think, likely be able to make that transition. Uh, certainly, uh, Kaiser's, uh, Kaiser's issue is an important one. And that's a great thing to have a debate about. There would be a big stark difference between him and Michael Bennett. It's an issue of the highest importance, to, to some degree, uh, the, the survival and security of the nation, about which is the best approach to keep Iran from having nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's exactly the kind of thing that, that should ultimately be settled by the people uh, with an, a good election on, the, on an important issue. Joey Bunch, political reporter from the Denver Post. Thank you very much for joining us for some of the table. Uh, so over the legislature, this caused, uh, I could see it probably causing a little bit of a kerfuffle because we have uh, Senator Tim, State Senator Tim Neville, who has not stepped down from his post. And then we have uh, Representative uh, Kaiser here making a point uh, to point that out. What's been the reaction over there? Well, everything's about elections. You know, January is more about November than it is the end of the session in May. You know, Kaiser's stepping down at the end of the month. They'll have to name a replacement for him so that he can campaign full time because he's kind of an unknown quantity. Got a great resume, handsome guy, friendly as they come, but Colorado voters don't really know him yet. Tim Neville, they know. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's a gambit to step down and, and lose that bully pulpit of being in the legislature, but let's see how it plays out. I don't think we've seen the last of candidates getting into this race. There's still a chance that we could see a candidate get in, a Republican candidate. I've heard some names who could just clear the field. Oh. And if that happens, then John Kaiser has made a mistake because he's given up his political office. That's a good point. You heard it here first. The clown card might grow. <laughs> Broken here by uh, Joey Bunch. Round out the panel, radio talk show host Miguel Bacabaragon. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Finish it up for us. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, the important issues are going to be coming back to education. Senator Bennett was an uh, extreme advocate for education, especially access to higher education. So when we see what he did from moving from Denver Public Schools on up to becoming a state senator, uh, I think the person that follows that, that path is going to have to have that same interest when it comes to Colorado voters. It's definitely a big issue around here.